Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to be going over how to properly ream an acoustic guitar bridge and fit it for new bridge pins. Let's get to it. Fitting new bridge pins is a simple repair that a lot of acoustic guitars will need at some point in their lives. The holes in any acoustic guitar bridge such as this are meant to be a snug press fit with the bridge pins. This is what allows them to properly anchor the ball into the strings in place. Now, over time through normal wear and tear or maybe as a result of a certain repair job to the bridge, etc., these holes in the bridge can loosen up to the point that they no longer hold the bridge pins properly. And I'll show you what I mean there. Okay, this is a new replacement bridge pin, and this is a standard sized pin. If I try to install this into the bridge pin hole, notice how it drops down the whole way into the bridge. It doesn't grab onto anything. In fact, if I reach into the sound hole of the guitar and grab the underside of the pin, I hope this shows up on camera, but I can actually wiggle this pin back and forth. It is far too loose to actually hold itself into place or even anchor a string into place. Now you can buy replacement bridge pins that are oversized that try to compensate for this wear and tear. And I've got one of those here. Notice how it is a little bit larger in diameter compared to the old pin. Hold these side by side, you can see the difference. Now if I try to install this new larger pin though, you'll notice it doesn't seat down nearly far enough. So what we've got here is the bridge pin holes are too large for a standard pin and too small for a new oversized pin. What we are going to have to do to properly fit these pins is to very carefully remount these bridge pin holes to accept these new pins. Okay, so before we get started, what kind of tools are we going to be needing? Well, really the only specialty tool that you're going to be needing for this job is a tapered bridge pin reamer such as this. Um, you can buy these reamers from most Luthery supply houses, and the taper on this reamer corresponds to the taper on the bridge pins. Now, one thing to note about the individual tapers here. Most acoustic guitars will take bridge pins that are tapered at around 3 degrees. However, there are some instruments, especially vintage instruments, that may take pins that are tapered at around 5 degrees. Now that doesn't sound like a very big difference, but it is enough that if you use the wrong reamer for the wrong pin, they're not going to fit properly. So before starting a job like this, always try to do your homework, take a few measurements, and determine exactly what angle reamer you're going to be needing. Also, never try to fit guitar bridge pins with a standard straight drill bit. It's going to create a straight sided hole, you're not going to get the taper that you need, and the bridge pins will not fit properly. Always use a tapered reamer such as this. Okay folks, quick disclaimer time. Before starting a job like this, please bear in mind that myself, my website, and my YouTube channel are not responsible for any injuries or damages that you may cause to yourself or your instrument. Okay, so now that we have the proper tool for the job, we can start fitting the new pins. The job itself is actually super simple. You just take your bridge pin reamer, insert it into the bridge, making sure that the reamer is nice and square at the guitar top that it isn't tilted at an angle or anything. Apply light pressure and just start turning the handle. There are three important things to remember though. First is be gentle. Do not apply too much pressure to the reamer. Go slowly and also frequently check the fit of these holes as you go along so you don't accidentally over ream the bridge and create holes that are too large for the bridge pins. Okay, so as you're fitting pins to your guitar, how do you know when 
you've got the proper fit and when to stop reaming the holes in the bridge. Whenever I'm doing this, I just look at how deeply the pins sit in the bridge to tell me when to stop reaming. So I'm going to show you three different examples here. I'm going to show you a properly fitted pin, a pin that is too loose, and then finally a pin that is too tight. So first up is the properly fitted pin. Okay, so this is a properly fitted pin. You want to look at the gap between the domed portion of the pin and where the straight tapered portion starts right here. Focus, please. You want about a sixteenth of an inch gap under the head of the pin and the start of the straight tapered portion. This is a sixteenth inch drill bit I'm going to use just as a guide, as a gauge for illustrative purposes. If you look here, see how that fits pretty nicely and it sits right about a sixteenth of an inch over the top of the guitar bridge. As I said, this is a properly fitted pin. Now for a pin that is too loose. Note how this pin just dropped the whole way into the bridge and there is no gap under the domed portion of the pin. And finally, we have a pin that is going to be too tight. Note how this one barely drops in the bridge at all. In fact, there's probably at least a quarter of an inch gap under the head of the pin to the guitar bridge. This is way too tight. Okay folks, that's it. We are done. That is the basic procedure on how to properly ream a guitar bridge and fit it for new bridge pins. If you liked the video and found it useful, interesting, and helpful, please click like and subscribe below. And also, be sure to check out my blog linked below for more guitar-related content. Thank you again for watching, have a good one, and stay safe.